I want to talk about, I want to share with us four important disciplines that you and I need to maintain. These are spiritual disciplines that you and I need to maintain to stay emotionally whole. The four things that we want to talk about this morning, first of all, is renouncing lies with the truth of the words. You know, our mind will be bombarded with all kinds of lies. Regardless of the source, the fact that it is a lie, we need to renounce it, get rid of it. Don't embrace the lie. Because when you and I embrace a lie, we empower the father of lies. That is the devil. The second thing is to speak blessing, cancel curses. God said it. Death and life are in the power of your words. Your words are carriers of either blessing or cursing. What is a curse? It's the opposite of a blessing. A blessing does you good. A curse does you harm. It does evil. Cancel those curses. Those curses could be things you put upon yourself. You pray to the God of the Bible saying, God, this is what I want because it's in your word. This is what I want to be. And God will honor that. As a child of God, really, no one else can put a curse on you. You are a covenant person. You're a child of God. The third one is to guard against negative emotions. Offenses will come. But you and I must learn to guard against negative emotions settling inside of us. And I just want to share with you two simple things that you can you do it at that moment. Or do it as soon as you can. First is to let Jesus take it away. And second, you determine to live in a place of peace. But here you and I are 2,000 years later. We come in time. We look back to the cross. He did it then. But today I need to personally experience it. So today I personally ask him, Lord, you remove this from me. He is my sin bearer. He is my sickness bearer. He is my pain bearer. You and I can live in the place of peace. What do I need to do? I can stay in perfect peace if I keep my mind, my thoughts, my focus. I keep that on the Lord. Do this. Pray, Lord. Don't get anxious about anything, but pray. Release it to God. Take a hold of His Word. And then His peace keeps your heart and mind. The fourth discipline that you and I need to just maintain in our lives is to practice the power of forgiveness. The way we get rid of bitterness, all of these negative things, anger, evil speaking, hatred, is by us choosing to be kind, to be tender, to be forgiving. I choose to do that because God has forgiven us in Christ. Forgiveness not only wipes the other person's slate clean, it actually makes me whole. Because when I forgive somebody, the hurt that they inflicted on me no longer causes pain. The book of Job does not state this, but it's quite possible that by the time you come to the end of it, Job must have been feeling angry, bitter, resentful towards his three friends. All they did was sit next to him and accuse him. So when Job prayed for his friends, the Bible says, God restored everything. God turned everything around and God restored everything. The work of the accuser, the devil, was stopped when Job prayed for his accusers. So what do you do when people accuse you? What do you do when people point fingers at you and tell you all the wrong things? Pray. Release forgiveness. Pray blessing. It will stop the accuser from coming up against you. Four things we covered this morning. Renounce lies with the truth of the word. Speak blessing, cancel curses. Guard against negative emotions by letting Jesus carry them away and choosing to live in a place of peace. Practice the power of forgiveness.